Right, we're going to look very quickly at how to find out word frequencies. Uh, just to remind you first, uh, one of the tasks in the unit was to find out the frequency of the and and. So let's just try that first. Let's have the. Just do a simple query. We've done this before, but here's a reminder. So the being the most frequent word in the corpus, it takes a little time to get the information up. Um, and we can see then that, as it says in the unit, the occurs more than 6 million times uh, in 4044 of the 4048 texts. Interesting, it doesn't occur in four texts. Um, and this, of course, is the size of the whole corpus. And finally, of course, we get the uh, normalized frequency. So this is how often you'd expect the to occur every million words. Uh, so that's the, and of course there are 12,000, sorry, 120,000 pages to uh, look through if you really want to. Let's go back to the standard query and do the same thing for and. It'll just take a minute or so. Here we are, and of course and occurs to just a bit over two and a half million times. And again, a full text which it doesn't appear in. So that's, like as, as we've seen before, how to find out frequencies of individual words. If we want to do a frequency list of all the words in the corpus, then we can go to a different place. We can use this tool, Frequency Lists. And it does look a bit um, confusing at first. Uh, let's just go through very quickly. Here are some various restrictions we can place. I'll come back to that. Um, we won't worry about word pattern for now. Uh, you might want to look in a particular part of the BNC, um, say it's spoken texts only, uh, or written texts only, but we'll, we'll stick with the whole BNC for now. This is the frequency of the words you want to look at. If you want to just look at the hapaxes, that's the words that occur only once. We could just put one here, from one to one, and we'd only get the words, or items which occur once. Um, we won't worry about tags for now, but you'll know a bit more about that later in the unit. Um, ordering, we could do it descending or ascending, so starting from the most frequent downwards or vice versa. Um, well, let's go ahead and see what happens. It might take a minute or two to do this. Let's show a list. This will show us the whole the frequency list for the whole BNC. So as you can see, <coughs> that is the most frequent. Then we've got comma, full stop, of. As mentioned before, uh, comma and full stop are counted as words uh, in the BNC, and other punctuation marks are too. So further down, we can see some more. And also we'll notice these are all, uh, all these highly frequent words are what are called function words. Um, now once we've got a list like this, we can of course uh, download it. Um, I won't do that now because it takes quite a long time. This is a very long list and it will take ages. Let's just go back one second and show you what else you can do. Um, we might want to know, for example, what the most frequent nouns are in the BNC. Uh, let's just do that quickly. So, um, here we'll notice these, these are uh, words which are tagged as nouns, and we get some very general nouns, as you'd expect at the top. And just to show you how it works, we could download this whole list, like so. and then I'll get this list. Oh, here we are. I can open it. You'll notice it's quite large, several megabytes. Then I'll be able to save it on my computer. There we are. Brilliant. So feel, feel free to explore this and see what you can do with it.